<laughs> Vanilla. Vanilla. Okay, very good. And you also working in the drug sector or? Ah, uh, no. Uh, software. Software? Oh, very nice. What What in the software do you actually do? Uh, I, I work as an anthropologist. It's so a little conflicting, uh, <laughs> conflicting messages here. I'm a software anthropologist. I observe the coders. I observe them in their natural habitat. I watch them. I study them. I take notes and I try to understand this weird, weird world they live in. There's a lot of communication for grunts and nods. Eye contact is not a thing. They like to look at the keyboard, but not at anyone else. Okay. Is this, I like it. You, 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 Denmark is so advanced, they have, you know, this new industry. <laughs> building up software technologies. Yes, the procreation. <laughs> the mating ritual of the software architect is a complex one. It starts with coffee in the morning, 12 hours of coding. And then the hard one. Okay. Very good. Well, so what, what exactly do you do? Technology. Uh, Technology? <laughs> I study how people interact with technology and then we, it kind of helps them to build uh, ah. tech. So that's what I, I think I met somebody who did your similar job, but for the devil. And that, by, the, by that, I mean Coca Cola. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were saying, like, I, I spoke, I, I met, like, I was at a random networking meeting once and I met this person from Coca Cola. They were like an anthropologist of Coca Cola. And they were said, Who do you think Coca Cola competes with? They were American. Who do you think Coca-Cola competes with? And I said, Pepsi. And they said, no. We compete with everything in the store. Anything that, anything that a, a child can potentially spend money on, we want to get that child to spend money on Coca-Cola and not on books. <laughs> I was like, whoa, the devil, all right. So it's a similar situation. It's exactly that. It's about uh, taking into context. Ah, so what what is what is the company? Not not what what's the product? So our product is like that's gonna sound very boring. Claims management system. Claims management system. Yes. You're you're archi you're you're anthropologist for claims management. Yes. I don't even know what claims management is. It's like what do you when you hit a car, you do so, insurance claims or? No, it's like if your products break, then you typically collect a lot of data and analyze how you can improve them. So it's a lot about sustainability. So you use this system in different stores, and I help them implement the system. Sounds like you get paid a lot. Because <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> I think, I think that, and, and you're funneling all that money in sweaters. <laughs> so old friends get together, you, you, you're Hera, what do you do Hera? Tell us a little bit more about your particular situation. You're, you're, you're Indian, Pakistani, well, grew up in Germany. That doesn't sound like it was rough. <laughs> where, where, in where in Germany? Where in Germany? Where I was born? Where, where, where did you grow? Where did you, where did you get abused in Germany? Yeah, like, Berlin. Oh, in Berlin. Okay, Berlin's not that bad. Which part of Berlin? I was actually born in Neukölln. <gasps> oh, so you felt like home. <laughs> <laughs> and then I grew up in Schöneberg and uh, Schwedings. Oh, okay, very nice. That's very nice. And what do you do now? What, what, what path have you taken, Hera? I'm a doctor. A doctor? Uh, well, that's the path that you're supposed to take. Good job. <laughs> 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 My parents made sure of it. Yeah, so well done. You didn't stray too far away from the, from the path that was there. <laughs> Lawyer or like doctor, you know? Oh, or computer scientist yeah, nowadays. Exactly. Data science, baby, that's where all the Indians go on now. Okay. Very good. What kind of doctor do you focus on? What is what is the, your favorite organ? Go. Heart. Oh, the heart? Oh. This guy over there, boobs. <laughs> The heart, that is fun, that's a fun organ, the heart, yes, yeah, so okay, very good. And how, how, how deep are you in your medical studies as a doctor? Like, have you, have you opened anybody up recently? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you mean emotionally? No, no, I mean physically. I put a knife in them. Yeah. Correct them I'm, up. I'm what? in residency at the moment. Ah, oh, okay, so you do, do you get to like, so do, you, do, do they tap you in for like the assist or how yeah, does this yeah, work? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, you hold the rib cage or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I've only watched horror movies. That's why I got my dog. <laughs> yeah, hold this. Hold, okay, very good. So you all, you've seen a, you've seen some shit basically. Mm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you drink?
dream of it every now and then. Like, dude, like being or oh, being around so many open bodies and like you know medical industry, medical system. You know, you you see organs and like blood and like tissue samples. Yes, boobs as well. <laughs> do you do they ever come in your nightmares? Yeah, they do. They really? Do cool, yeah. Amazing. Then people do you, people they know or people they don't know? Both. Interesting. What's your la latest nightmare? It's basically me dying. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah, you know, not, not everything's about you. <laughs> See, I, I, my nightmares are about people dying in the Ukraine, okay? Because yeah, I true. am... <laughs> because I care about others. Okay? <laughs> and I want it to stop, okay? <laughs> Alright, the four years. Can anybody beat four years? Yeah. Okay, well, how much? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. One round of applause for this lady over here. She's been putting up with her partner for eight years and a half. Let me see your hand. Is there a ring in there? There's a ring. Okay. Oh, two rings? Whoa, what's happening here? Wow, that's, that's a lot of loving, yeah. That's a lot of loving. Okay, very good. Can anybody eat? Uh, eat? Can anybody eat her alcohol? <laughs> After eight years and a half. You know. Very good. Can anybody beat 8.5 years? <laughs> I'm looking at you, sir. Come on, you got, you got. What? what how many years? I don't know. They lost right now. Um, uh, I stopped counting after the second child. I, I was like, there's no way I'm getting out now. Okay. Very good. How long have you guys been together for? Thirty-six years. Oh, uh, wow. I gotta, guys. That's too long. You gotta. You gotta you gotta divorce tomorrow, okay? This is this is the plan. Thirty six years. Thirty six years. That's that's longer than I've been alive. <laughs> no, I'm thirty two. I'm thirty two years of age. Yes. Is anybody here older than thirty six? You know. Wow. You guys have been keeping it together since communism was a thing. Yes. Wow. But not in your country. Are you guys Dutch? Where are you guys from? Well, look at that. I figured it out from the accent. <laughs> All right, you guys have put together a round of applause. They're the winners, guys. 36 years. 36 years. Wow. And, and, and is she your daughter? Okay, just check. Okay. How do you know this wonderful couple, young lady? Friends. Friends, okay. Oh, friends. Berlin friends. We're going to find out how they keep it together for 36 years. Tom, and you're married to the wonderful lady over here? Yes. What's your name, the wonderful lady over here? Kate. Kate. Tom and Kate. Isn't that like royal names? <laughs> yes. Uh, and well, where are you from, Kim? I'm from Moscow. From Moscow? Okay, and uh, Tom? Uh, Oslo. Oslo, okay, Norwegian. Okay, no, no, I'm from Oslo, not Norway. It's a... <laughs> Have you been up north? <laughs> Trondheim, horrendous. It's like, it's like, you know, I'm from New York, from San Francisco. I'm from Oslo. Uh, how did you guys meet the two of you? That makes Actually, that. We have some friends, um, of course, Korea. Where else <laughs> could you meet a Norwegian man? You think he would be out here asking girls out? No, no. He's in Korea having kimchi. This is what he's doing. Korea then Thailand. This is how we do it. What were you doing in Korea, Tom? Uh, you were sorry. <laughs> Oh, this is very Norwegian. Then anyway, I had a long holiday in Japan, and I decided to make a stop in Korea <laughs> because our snow is not as good. You know, we we have snow here in Norway, but the Japanese they've perfected snow. You know, it's, a, it's something about the Japanese art of snow creation. You know, when their water evaporates. It's not like our water over here. It's tainted by, by the oil reserves. You know, it's just, you know, all these Teslas are polluting our slow. That's very that's, that's okay. So the snow here was not good enough. You went to Japan, the South Korea, and which one had the best snow? Japan. <laughs> it's different. Uh, it's different. Different. Different elements of worrying in Norway. You know. You know, it says, you, have you had the ramen with the snow is the best? Where, where, where in Japan did you go? Niseko or? Yeah. Anywhere. 
I too know about the snow. <laughs> I tried to adapt to the first pole, yes. No, I used to live in Japan for like three years, so I went, uh, I, I went snowboarding there a couple of times. Did you like the Japanese people? They didn't really talk much, though. No. So just like here. <laughs> This man is consistent. Say what you will, but he is consistent, okay? Very good. So how did you guys meet in uh, Korea? Like, you approached him, I'm assuming? Or uh, no. was I, oh, your skis are so big. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and there's two of them. <laughs> is there a third one? <laughs> or like, how, on the slopes or where? In the, in the, is it Seoul or where, where are we at? Youth organization, okay. Yeah. I thought UEFA, I was like, oh, football as well. <laughs> yeah, and then um, uh, Tom's stepfather was there as well, and then Korea and then Korea and then The plot thickens, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, a porno? <laughs> no, Tom was there, his stepbrother was there, and then we went skiing. <laughs> and let me tell you, the slopes were battered that day. <laughs> you have a stepbrother as well. We're gonna find out all about Tom tonight, guys. He's a very, he's a, he's a matter. He, does, he, does, he may not speak to others, but he's gonna speak to us, okay? Because he's not gonna tell others his secrets. But in a room full of people, he's vulnerable. <laughs> is it? Uh, is he also Norwegian or is he Korean? Uh, Norwegian as well. Okay. Ooh, the promiscuity of the Norwegian people happens. Yes, very good. So you met him, and then his brother, his stepbrother, introduced him, or? No. <laughs> in South Korea over there, you know? So, uh, were there any girls in this meeting, or is it... No, no, no I'm very greedy myself, yes, I... They were, they were traveling, and then I was in Korea, and then we decided to get a shot around, and uh, we met with him, and they showed up as well with his brother. Ah, okay, okay, that's it, just randomly showed up, and they were like, well, the more the merrier, guys, let's get in there. Very good, and then he offered to buy you kimchi, or he offered to... No, I'm totally. You gotta split it, you know? Yeah. No. <laughs> I did ask him out, though. Okay, very good, very good. Because this is okay. Okay, and he said, well, I'm here, might as well. Project manager. Project manager? Wow, that tells me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, what projects do you manage? Are you also working with key account managers? No. Also tells me nothing. Okay. <laughs> Pharmaceuticals, now, a, a drug lady right here, yes? Very good. Yes, you gotta get those drugs, yes. What kind of drugs do you do you get? Dermatology. Dermatology? Yes. That's for skin. Yes. I know that, it's skin drugs. <laughs> I, I don't use anything on my skin. It's quite problematic, I have dried skin. What, I'm joking. What, what do you recommend? <laughs> Lotion, bro. <laughs> Lotion, that's what I recommend. You ever heard of lotion? How did you get into the drug business? <laughs> well, I was born in Lithuania and the rest is history. I finished human biology studies here. Oh, human biology studies? Yep. Ooh. Well, that sounds a lot more sexual than it needs to. <laughs> and your, your, your friend over here? Can you beat us? I'm uh, drawing buildings. Not the architect, slaving for architect. You're an architect slave. Exactly. It's a, it's a fun job descriptions they have here. Is that like an intern or? No, no, it's a, it's a position. Oh. In the BDSM club, the architect slave. Yeah, so you put it like this, the Eiffel Tower, and then you put whatever you want, wherever you want. Very good. So you're, you're basically like an archi assistant architect. No, you just... Uh, oh, no, I'm a slave, okay. <laughs> so I'm really trying to sell the slave thing. It's very interesting, because like in the previous show, we had another Lithuanian that kept... was very insistent that I, I asked me if I had blood sausage. You're from Romania, did you have blood sausage? I, I, I don't understand the question. Like, is, is my blood sausage or what is... It's very good. And the other gentleman, sorry, what do you do? I'm a civil engineer. Civil engineer? Sounds solid. Very good. Nice. This is a lot of very, 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 very good jobs you guys have here, and you guys have moved here a long time ago, or? It's been a while, yeah. Six years ago. Nine years. Yeah. And you are just as part of the Lithuanian WhatsApp group, or how do you guys know each other? Like, what? Messenger. Messenger. 
Messenger. Okay, it's a messenger for all Lithuanians and Copenhagen. Not all, no. Not all, no. <laughs> we couldn't. <laughs> That's not okay. This is just for our small little Lithuanian village. It is where we did. The show is Love in Berlin. If you're not familiar with the with the format of the show, what we do is do we do a couple of jokes about love, we talk about our relationship status, your relationship status, and then we figure out how to get the lonely of you with somebody. What are the tricks? We find out who's single, we find out who's been in a relationship for a couple of years, and then we try to exchange knowledge and information, okay? <laughs> now I'll trade you two kids for one orgy, huh? <laughs> Is that, is that a good deal? Is up there? Yes, yes, I'll take it. And then we're gonna figure out exactly what the best way to kind of... We, we, we're gonna figure out if the grass is greener on the other side, okay? Very good. Uh, so let, before we kind of go into it, I'm gonna tell you what my name My name is Dragos. I'm one of your hosts for the evening. The second host is Chris. A round of applause for Chris over there. He's gonna come up on stage in a second. Very good. So usually what we do with this particular show, we find out uh, who's... Like, make some noise if you're single. Oh, okay. Seems like you're in the minority. This means okay. Now make some noise if you're make some noise if you're in a relationship. Oh, some people are they're just they 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 just are undecided. Yes, no, no, it's complicated. It's Berlin. We have a we have a living in situation. It's an open apartment situation. <laughs> Anybody that comes in gets some, that's what we're doing. Alright, very good. So, uh, okay, we're gonna figure out, usually we try to find a relationship expert, somebody who's managed to stay together for a significant number of years, okay? I, I already have a couple of suspects over here, but uh, let's not talk. So, you have a, you're in a relationship with here with somebody? Okay, the gentleman over there? You're in a relationship? No, no, the, the Evgeny. Was that your name? Vitali. Yeah. Very good. Are you single with somebody? I'm alone. You're alone. Well, now you're together. Congratulations. That's it. It was that easy. It was that easy. No, we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna find out. Are you guys together? Yes? No. Oh, you are where I'm gonna be done with you. Okay. All right, let's find out somebody. So who's in a relationship again? Who's been in a relationship for over one year? Make some noise. Over one year. Over one year. Okay, how long, sir? Uh, four years. Four years? He leaned in. Four years, baby. <laughs> I remember, okay? <laughs> it's just like, good boy. I was, this guy when you started counting, yes? He's like, we've been in a relationship for five, but he... 